Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to David's March, a custom campaign for Wargame Red Dragon Ash and Shadows. It's a mod, not a DLC, and you can find out all about it in the links in the description. It's a Google Doc, it tells you how to download it and then how to install it. The mod was created by Tarsus, not by Eugen, and he put in a lot of work. So be sure to say thank you to him in the comment section, because he just put a ton of work in for free to allow us to have another fun campaign for Wargame. Now, in the previous episodes, I went into Kiryat Gat and into Gaza, and in here I had a very, very extended fight. That was the last episode. I also took out their naval units, and that way I can pretty much take and hold control of the sea here. But the uh, battle in Kiryat Gat is not done, because over here we have another infantry group coming in. Fortunately, it's a weaker unit. The border regiment has really taken a lot of damage so far, and because of that, they really don't have much left. One Fadayin, one infantry unit with anti-air, a little bit of artillery, some Tuncha, but also a bunch of planes. And these planes could be pretty dangerous. My anti-air has arrived, but it is very, very limited. Um, so ideally, I would very quickly wipe these guys out before they get an opportunity to use the planes. Considering what they have, I just want to take units from Foxtrot and drive directly into Dongning, and that way take out command units. Uh, oh, never mind, they don't have a command unit. All of this stuff is academic. Launch, get out. There. Okay, so that was that. Um... Taking control of these naval sectors is not that useful because they don't gain me any points. They do need a little bit of a refit, so I'll just keep them here. Now, before I forget it, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or if you are, be sure to hit the notification bell so you immediately find out when the next episode is going up. It also really helps out my channel. All right, I think I have everybody sorted. Yeah, and turn. Here they come again. That's that border regiment in the Kiryat Gat, which cannot do anything. So let's just push them back out. Go away. Gaza is a very different story. Because what we have over here <clears throat> is uh, a lot of planes, but very limited infantry. They do have Kraftsovka, and that means planes are available to them. I have Delta, that's the sector I captured in the last possible moments. And I have Patriots and Hovet. So any aircraft that is presented to me will get taken out. And hopefully that will be the end of the Naval Infantry and the Artillery Company. So spawn in a bunch of tanks, drive right into Kravtsovka, or whatever it's called these days, and start wiping out planes as they spawn in. I don't feel like I need my own planes here today. but I could be mistaken. What I will require, slightly co closer to shore, is the independence class, because it has 55 kilometer or 5.2 kilometer range anti-plane weapons. Um, fobs haven't been invented yet. Let's put the Achsarit over here, guarded by some stingers. And also, actually, let's have these in one building. And a Delta Force here. And I just want to pour right across this bridge and start wiping out everything I spot. The other command unit that I have is the TACOM and the Dark Hawk. So put them over there. We've got six tusks remaining. And, of course, the Naval Elite tusks. But there's only two of those. So I don't have a lot of them. Considering what I'm up against, I think the Merc of a 3B is good enough. And considering the threat, I can just spawn in a bunch of rookies and I should be fine. All right, let's get the Patriots spawned in. And let's get a Comanche over here as a reconnaissance bird. Ariel, please. Um, as for the rest, I don't think I need Laish. I probably don't need Helos at this point. Let's go for a few more tanks then. 
Drop off. Drop off. Go. I know your guys are here somewhere. There's a fob. I would love to capture that. That'd be great. What we got here? That's the last of their infantry. Hold on a moment. There's a command unit moving about. Intercept it and eliminate. It's not their last command unit, so that's good to know. Yeah, you're not going to hit hellfires like that, buddy. More transports, more logistic units. They're probably on the way to capture Foxtrot. The command unit's over there. I want to capture the, the fob first before wiping out the command unit. Got that one. Here comes a peace vector. I don't think it dropped. Oh, shit. That is bad news for the Comanche. Patriots. Missed. One hit. Insufficient. Land the Comanche. Fob captured. Looks like they have him on the run here. No, turn weapons off because they don't have a lot of firepower here. They don't have a, a plane spawn, so I can send the Comanche back in. That's another infantry transport. The reason why I'm turning off my weapons is because I want to capture as many logistics units as possible, because this group doesn't have many. Here's a BMP. Those can be dangerous. Let's just move there. Yeah, there. I'm going to capture these 813s. I refuse to lose any Merkavas over this, though. That's not the plan. There comes the other command unit. Oh, come on. Thank you. There. That's quite a nice amount of supplies that I captured. That's 3.5k. I also want to capture these. And then I can wipe out the command unit. That should allow me to get the unit wiped out. Let's speed this up. Come on, go for the capture. Go for the capture, gotcha. I think that's most of them. Free free to fire. Kill. Oh! Their last unit is over there. That is the unit that was moving away. And that unit that was moving away is most likely armed. Or not so much armed, but carrying infantry. Command infantry, to be exact. Uh, no. Regroup. There. So I just captured 7,000 points worth of transports and 15, sorry, 25,000 points worth of FOB. That, if I'm not mistaken, there you are. No, it's not a transport. That I can then use in a future battle. Hellfire. Gotcha. Done. 6th Naval Infantry Regiment destroyed. And that means Gaza is secure. Yeah. Despite losses in that brutal fight, victory is ours in the battle for Gaza. Our reserve troops and US support stationed in Haifa and Cyprus can now be deployed directly into Gaza. However, you need to keep control of Naval Sector Alpha and Bravo to keep the route open. Understood. Our enemy is likely to send a Marine and Naval group to attempt to cut off our sea route and recapture Gaza. Mossad has their eyes on their naval presence near the Egyptian border, so you should see them coming. Command is recommending that you secure our captured airfield at Netivot, so our air wing can be reassigned. This will give our fighters and bombers the range needed to continue Operation David's March. Yes. Uh, but I have not yet captured the base in Netivot. I still have to chew through a whole tank company and an infantry battalion. So we're not quite done yet. Um... I can now spawn in the marine, or the, sorry, the, the, these. 
So this is the 282nd Golan Artillery Regiment with Romach, Lora, and Lar. Maglan as a spotter for them. Okay. Sons of Light. That's an older tank regiment. It's Magar 7 Gemel, Magar 6 Betgal, and Magar 6. I'm not terribly impressed with these. They will be useful in a fight against infantry, but against tanks, not so much. 108th Adab. Patriots and more Patriots. Stingers and a couple of supporting Humvees. And the first ABCT, First Division. Command Abrams, LAVs. Assault Engineers and Strikers, very nice, with Striker Javelin for a transport. M101 Tusks, M101 HC Abrams, M6120 Sleps. Not bad. M6 Linebackers, that's our anti air unit, sort of. Cardom for support. And Task Force Enoch. Task Force Enoch is a group of ethnic Jewish Special Forces soldiers from all over the world. Secretly established in 2008 by pro-Israel SOCOM leaders and funded by the Davos Group, they are, the only, they are only activated if an invasion of Israel occurs. What do we have here? Oh, we got operators from everywhere. Oh, this is beautiful. So we got six units from the 101st Screaming Eagles, so the Airborne. Uh, 12th San Hanim. 2 SAS. And uh, 2 Strelzi... Podalanshi, I think. MI-24Ds, Darkhawk, Yanshuf, more Darkhawk. Six Yasur for relocation, or for, for logistics. Maglan, Navy Seals. A Seraf reconnaissance helicopter. Pretty much an Apache with stingers. Marine Jaeger. <laughs> Marine Jaeger, yes. Uh, a four-man elite sniper team. In the Pavlo, and the Pavlos also can deliver quite a bit of damage. M6 or MH6M Melp, that's the uh, the seed helicopter. Adap, WA864, and two of those drones that we've seen in episode one. Oh, these are fun. Unfortunately, they're 20 points, and I only have 10. But with Gaza captured, I'm going to be getting another 10 per turn. So that's beneficial. Uh, I want to refit my ships. And that means that I have only 8 points available, which probably means I won't be able to get any more units in, at least not right now. Mm. I want to get the Kafir over here, because they're going to need to get refit at the harbor, and then I can send them back and get the rest of the group in towards Jerusalem. So I can capture that and bring the airfield online. Um, the units over here have done a bit of fighting, so they're not available. Everything here is pretty expensive. So I think for this turn, we're done. <laughs> here we go. According to our Mossad agents, enemy reinforcements have begun moving towards Gaza from Arish. We did not expect them to react so quickly. Great. No eyes on. Kiryat Gat does have contact. It's once again that uh, emaciated group. So these can get refit. That's all the Rova Eat back, the Merkava CQBs back, the Namur. Good. Now I, ha now I have 26 points. That's a lot better. Let's push this way. Make sure that they cannot intercept any reinforcements that I bring in through here. And this way, my ships are already getting into position for definitely a future engagement. Right. Is it possible for me to push on to here? What sort of map is that? Okay. I suppose I'm coming in from Vladivostok? Is that what it would probably be called? And that means that for open tank warfare, this map is pretty good, at least from my perspective, to counter them. But I'm not really in any rush. So let's refit this group. And this one, because both of them took a bit of a beating. And see what would be a good unit to reinforce them with. Uh, the Golan, no. First Golani Brigade. What I have over here is quite a lot of infantry. But what I could use is a bit more armor. 
or these, the Barak Reconnaissance slash ATGM Brigade, the Perret and the Hammer Maypats. These will be very useful when I try to deal damage against their units. What? Oh, they can only be flown in. Crap. The Shaldag is an Israeli Air Force Special Forces unit that works with other units to call in accurate close air support missions. So you're just a reconnaissance group then. I cannot call you in. No, no, no. You're too expensive. I can call in everything from the Marine Expeditionary Task Force. If it's not too expensive. Uh, considering all the aircraft around here, a Patriot group could be very handy. Task Force Anok is also fun, though. Let's go with those. I might not be able to use them just yet, but if you have one of those groups that's on the run, I can then strike with Task Force Enoch and just hit them right when they're retreating and destroy the whole battle group. That's the plan. Now, these people are going to have to just wait because they're going to have to wait for the Kafir Brigade to come back and then we're going to push into Jerusalem. Recapturing that territory. These planes don't have another airport to go to yet. I can refit these with some of the points that I still have. End. There's a new aerial unit moving through here. Special Forces Regiment. More bad news from Assad. Turkish Special Forces have been spotted coming from Syria in the east, near Ramat Hovav. Syrians, Turkish and... Wait... Among them are suspicious soldiers without nation patches, wearing what appears to be Ruspat camo. Use caution. So, we got the Russians, the Turkish, and the Syrians coming in. Helicopter, 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 helicopter. Ground forces, ground forces, ground forces. Good lord, that's a lot of units. Recon, Scout Defender, Mukabrat. That's also airborne. These are the ridiculously quick transport helos, the KA-92s. 540 kilometers an hour. Spatsnaz, Spatsnaz Gru. Tiger with the thermobaric weapons. Oh no. Tiger Cornet, ATGM units. Helos, the T-129 Attack. Eight... ATGMs, 24 rocket pods, and a Vulcan. Cobra is not that dangerous. And this is an air to air MI24P. Okay. Let's first send these guys packing again. They're going to keep doing this. The AI doesn't know that they cannot use them. So the Kafir are going to go back in there. These guys are going to wait. I have another 22 points, so I can call in another group here. Um, but what? These are not going to be useful against the tanks. They will, however, be useful in dealing with all the infantry here. It would be a nice asset to boost the units that I have. But I don't feel like I need to urgently relocate. Magic Touch is also an airborne group. These could be useful, but they don't start with a whole lot of initiative. So it's going to take them two, maybe three turns to get to Gaza. I need to capture Netavot or Jerusalem to get an airport and start bringing in more helo units. Okay, we're not going to go anywhere. So we're just going to go an R&R. &R. I want the helicopter group... Uh, I don't know. Could I engage them here? That would be hilarious. It's a hell of a gamble. I would not have resupplies. I would not have an air spawn. I think it's not wise to do that just yet. Not just yet. Let's just keep building up forces here. Let's bring in the Sons of Light. 
and the ADAP. They're not going to push, they're just going to wait. And we're going to see if these guys are going to come to me. Especially that helicopter group's interesting. And the rest of the ships, R&R. You guys don't need R&R. Still got planes there, but they can't really do much. And Ah, now they're coming at me in Kiryat Gat with everything. They have Dong Ning. And since they spawned in a helicopter group, they also have Charlie. I have Xing Ying, Delta, Foxtrot, and Vladivostok. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. Because this is 158 infantry units. Loads of them are mobilized, so transports, uh, sorry, wheeled, I mean. Motorized transports. And then we have a whole bunch of helos. We got another group of those BMT 84s. Firehawks with hellfires, because yes. How much anti air do I have? Oh shit. I got six TCMs, which do not outrange a hellfire. The Dracon do, but they're not terribly accurate. Oh snap, this is going to get problematic. And it's not like I can send in some aircraft either. NTR infantry, four Barkan. And eight Bazak. This is going to get rough. Pretty rough. Um... Where do I set up? Where do I set up? Ideally, I would cut off the resupply here as quickly as possible. Cut off the flow of units and thereby make sure that they don't spawn in too much more. But they're probably going to spawn in a whole blob somewhere and start moving to capture any and all of the command zones, especially Gaza and Rehovot, because of course those bring in more units. We're going to have to make sure they don't do that. Uh, this is going to get defended by the Bazak. Let's put those here. Do I have a fob? I do not have a fob. Uh, I got so little in the sense of actual usable infantry here. What, you in here? One Dorbin LR. That is somewhat limited. Putting it mildly. I can also use the RAM TCM against aerial units. Uh, let's get one sniper team here as a reconnaissance unit. I don't strictly need Rehovot. So what I might be able to do is just deploy a Maglan unit on top of that mountain. Anything gets close, it gets nailed and park the Namer somewhere here in the tree line. So that if a command unit flies here and drops off, I can take it out. I'm going to leave Delta. And I'm thinking of just getting a whole bunch of units from Foxtrot to just move to Jerusalem. But it's not going to be pretty. If this is going to be my big push, I'd better be very, very sure about it. I want both Dr Dracon in here. I want the TCMs to spot. I want some heavy armor. Mark of a four. If they spawn everything in here and push to this side, I'm going to be in massive trouble. I don't have any more of those. Uh, let's relocate one of those groups to here. And then get another one of the Merc of a 4. Alright. This is going to get rough. Drop, drop. Merc of a... Sorry. Uh, you over there, you over there. Move. This does leave Foxtrot undefended temporarily. I do intend to counter that as quickly as I can. But I need to start cutting off those units. Urgently. There's the MA24. Get the Namer away, get the Merkava away. These Merkavas, these can hold. 
Hold on a moment. Hold. Helos all over the place. Cobra. Well, we're definitely on top of their spawn zone. I accomplished that part. And their CVs are moving. They're not spawning anything else. Move. Cut them off. What's happening? What? There are two. There are these over there. Okay, that means we better move. These TCMs are remarkably useful. Up until the point where they get utterly destroyed. Keep pushing. There's the command unit. It's rushing away. Okay, so we eliminated this spawn for now. Oh, that's a lot of units. Wow, they're fast. But I captured... I, I used the Maglan ambush to successfully wipe it out. So I think that they don't have too many command units left. They got one on the move. And one in Charlie. But that should be the extent of it. Let's get a couple of Merkava 4s over here. Oh, hello. We barely got range here. That TO-55 needs to go before it burns us out of here. Yeah. Time to get the Merkava 3s involved. Take out that M24. Well done. Well done. Secure this flank. I'm going to move the command vehicle from here to here and secure that position. Already there and here. Unfortunately, I don't have any counter artillery. I don't have any counter play here. Oh, shit. Split. You need to bug out. Yeah, that was the Merkava, or one of them. Unfortunately for you, these things don't care that much about Napalm. Yes, they'll get panicked, but that's about it. HVMS, now it's my turn. Let's go. Let's get some TCMs in here. There's a FOB. That's mine. Do not allow them in here. Do not allow them in here. Cobras are moving. Infantry inside. That's 15 points. Got him. I think there's a ton of infantry up for grabs there. Oh, shit. I was not expecting company here. So the command tank is going to have to wipe out the infantry there. Well done. That was risky. Should not have left them unescorted. Uh, you seem to be taking some damage there. Hold on. Not too aggressive. I first need to get eyes on the situation. If not, I risk running into a ton of infantry. I'd rather not. Get yourself fixed at the fob. Get uh, a couple of Oshkosh here to resupply the groups. Lock down this sector. A couple of Merkava 4 should do it. Make sure they don't have anywhere to go. This Merkava is about to arrive, and I can then secure that position with more Rovait. Uh, just park yourself there. I'm very happy that this gamble worked. Because I have them completely locked down. Or at least that's what I think right now. Doesn't mean it's true. But that's what I think is happening. You, get back. Scout Defender, TCMs. That's your cue. They're moving their CV about. Damn it. Is that it? No. That's an artillery unit. 
The AI usually travels over roads, so I can use that against them. They usually have their units on move fast. If only I had a reconnaissance helo. That would have been so useful. What I can do is send in a couple of drones and see if they have any... Yep. More raider guided into here. Oh, that was the drone. It's going to come at the expense of your interior, but my drone was more expensive than that. Hunt down those lodger units. I need more reconnaissance infantry here, quick. Uh, yeah, I'll take these. One, two, three. My scout defender's hovering too low for me to nail it. So, where is your command unit? Oh, there it is. I was wondering, where is it going? Well, I found it. There you go. First border regiment destroyed. Twelfth border regiment uh, battalion destroyed. That means their special forces group is on the run. But the question is, where to? Okay, so I killed 2,600 worth of points, and I lost 264. That's a ten-time markup. I lost a Merc of a 3, one drone, a Reconnaissance Infantry team, and two Ram TCMs. I will accept that trade. Ah, there is their Reconnaissance, or their, um, their Special Forces group. Okay, now it's my turn. Yeah, this is going to be another longer battle. <clears throat> I'll do that in a different video. This one is done. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for another episode, which is coming up very soon. I hope you enjoyed this one. More to, so to soon follow, because this fight, this campaign, is far from over. Thank you, for, thank you Tarsus, for again creating the campaign. Uh, if you like Tarsus, then please support him on Patreon, because he does all of this stuff for free. I myself am a Patreon supporter of his, and uh, well, I hope that I can keep supporting him and creating more mods for Wargame. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon for another episode.